Okay, so let's start the session now. Uh, hello guys, good morning and welcome you all in this Microsoft Copilot session. Myself, Archie Desai and I'm at host for this session. Guys, if you have any question and queries, please put question on chat box. We will be there to help you ask out. Uh, let's moving ahead and talking about our sp event sponsor that is Synergetics. So Synergetics is an India one of kind co-parting learning solution company. Now you will get a question like who we are and what we're doing. So answering your question, we boost our offering and also give complimentary adversary service to client who wish to modernize their framework. We educate, advise, implement and manage. Then the synergetic solution offering that is persona based onboarding solution, onboarding add-on solution, certification solution, certification add-on solution, reskilling solution, emerging technology training solution, certification hackathon solution, cloud adoption solution, latest technology training solution, sales pre-sales training solution, practice playbook solution and architecting solution. Then what this Microsoft certification training does, it will give you complete learning experience. You will get trained, build confidence to appear for the exam and get certified. This is skilling journey here. You can advance yourself. First, you have to complete fundamental certification. Then you can go with the advanced role based certification and expert level certification. In fundamental certification, we have AZ 900, AI 900, DP 900, PL 900 and SC 900. In associate level certification, we have many types of certification here. You, here you can see on my screen. In expert level certification, we have AZ 305, SC 100, PL 600 and AZ 400. Guys, also we have special certification that is AZ120, AZ140, AZ220. If you want any certification, you can connect with us. Certification offering. Those certification will help you to increase your visibility, expand your knowledge and skills. We do provide certification add-on, onboarding add-on like short duration modules and more. Our today training is organized and handled by the ATC community. So our ATC community is open to all the people who are interested in our cloud technology and various emerging technology. Under ATC community, we have emerging technology community for all. Then Azure Tech community for Pune Kurs. Emerging technology community for Surat Kurs. Azure Tech community for Nagpur Kurs. Guys, you just have to install the Meetup app and you can follow our communities there. Then you have to follow code of conduct, which will create a respectful environment for all the participants. Please note that participants are not allowed to take screenshot of the presentation and cannot do screen recording. We will try to upload this training on our official YouTube channels. Today's speaker for this training, Mr. Komal Sharma. She is a Microsoft certified trainer, currently work with Synergetics as a training consultant. Agenda for this webinar, you will get to know more about the topic and benefit of it. In this session, we are providing you MS 400 file learning achievement best. You just have to follow the step and you will get the activated badge. Guys, don't forget to follow us on our LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube for upcoming event updates. Thank you. Now I would like to hand over this mic, our speaker. She will continue ahead. Thank you so much, Archie. <clears throat> Just give me a minute.
Okay, so good morning everyone. This is Komal Sharma. I'm the trainer of the session. I welcome you all for the session Microsoft Copilot for M365. And today we are uh, starting with how to write the effective prompt with Microsoft Copilot. Give me a minute. I'm just sharing my screen. OK, so I hope uh, I'm loud and clear and my screen is visible to you all. So let's start with the session. So as I said myself, Koma Sharma, I'm Microsoft certified trainer. I've handled my engagement on Microsoft 365 infrastructure and architecting. And uh, I have handled some uh, my engagement on the learning consultancy solutions. I have a few role based certifications and some expert level of certification for Microsoft 365 services, Microsoft Power Platform and Microsoft Security Services. Plus I have completed my course for Microsoft Copilot also. OK, so. So the agenda would be uh, for this session would be. To get started with Copilot for Microsoft 365. Draft effective prompts for Microsoft 365. And I will give you some use cases also to start working with the Copilots. OK, so now let's first understand what is Copilot is all about. OK, so before starting with the session, I just wanted to know from you guys. Have you ever worked with Copilot or do you have any understanding about the Copilot? Or anyone who is already started using Copilot, they have some Copilot license in their organization using already. OK, that's great. So Ganshri was already using. So Prithvi Raj, how you are exploring with Copilot, like just the course content you are using? OK. That's great. So guys, what do you think? Those who have already started working with Copilot, so what do you think? What is this Copilot is all about? We know Microsoft 365 services, right? So we all are aware with the Microsoft 365 services that we are using. And my organization, we uh, our organization has provided us uh, Office 365 license, right? M365 license. And along with the license, we are having some services some applications that we are already using. So what is this co-pilot here? What is the role of co-pilot here? Personal assistance for official data, OK? So have you ever explored a co-pilot with browser like Prithviraj has written? He is using via browser. Anyone else? Explored co-pilot with browser? OK, that's great, Rishi. Anyone else? OK, that's great. So Microsoft 365 Copilot. This Microsoft 365 Copilot it uses the power of AI, right? In our organization, the license we are using, it is provided to be productive, right? How we can boost this productivity? How we can unlock our creativity, right? So this co-pilot is going to help us out to improve our productivity. It is going to help us understand the information better just by putting simple chat. So this co-pilot 
it helps turn your natural language words into the powerful productivity tools this microsoft 365 copilot it can transform your work in three meaningful way first it unleashes our creativity means it help us to create the content faster and more efficiently like let's say you have worked on any project or any assignment right uh now let's say you have to quickly attend a meeting and it is asked for you to just uh, present your ideas or present your work so you have spent a lot of time working on that project but what about the ppt right how effective work you have done it will be presented with the help of effective presentation the effective ppt now let's say you need you have to present for the meeting but you do not have enough time to create the ppt or the work is done but what about the documentation so this co pilot is going to help us to create the ppts creating quickly within few seconds if you already have some content available you have some already documents available the files available no problem just skip take it all together single in a single ppt and just create a effective ppt within few minutes or you are going to create any uh, new content in your microsoft uh, uh, word or excel powerpoint no worries this copilot is going to help you out it unlocks our productivity it helps to focus what matters most for us because creating see we all are working in organization we are really having a very good position in our company you may be the manager you may be the team leader part of your management team so why to focus on the non productive work creating ppts word excel and all right so this co pilot can help us to focus on what is really important for us rest other thing we can just leave it on co pilot it up level our skills it makes us better at what you are right what you are good at and help us to just quickly master what you have yet to learn so this co pilot this is what it represent a new way of working we are employees collaborate with ai facilities for increase our productivity this co pilot address the modern challenge where the pace of work is overtaking our ability to keep up this co pilot a microsoft 365 copilot is designed to transform how we work in this digital era that is powered by llm and utilize our business data from microsoft graph copilot aims to speak creativity boost productivity this is a innovative tool we can see that integrate seamlessly with the microsoft 365 suit it includes some popular application that we use in our day to day life like microsoft teams word outlook excel powerpoint right even when you open up your uh, office 365 like your uh, office.com you have your copilot to give you the summarized data which is there in your sharepoint which is there in your one drive I have this video. Let me know if it is audible to you all. Guys, let me know if it is audible to you all. Was that video audible, or I just need to share it again? Give me a second.
it will take hardly one second because it is installing uh, the driver. I do not know what is what it is looking for. Okay, I guess now the sound will be included. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, video interesting. This was just the tailor as the picture to abhi baki hai. <laughs> okay, so let's move ahead. So now this co-pilot for Office 365. So as uh, I have just given you the tailor that uh, how this co-pilot was improving your work when you are using your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, right? OneDrive, Microsoft Teams. So before you can start working with Copilot, this Copilot can be used on different areas like uh, Copilot as uh, some of you already have explored this Copilot for uh, your browser, right? But Copilot for Microsoft 365. This is what where you are using the Copilot capability on your Microsoft 365 suit. Before you can access Microsoft 365 Copilot, you must miss some requirement like users must be added to your Microsoft Enter ID. This is I'm purely talking about the Copilot for M365. Those who wants to have the um, experience of Copilot before uh, purchasing the license, uh, Microsoft have not yet provided the free trial for Copilot, but yes, for Office 365 M365, you can have the trial uh, account uh, created, right? That is available for one month. So you can explore that. And if you want to purchase a Copilot just to have experience uh, the capability, you can do that. But for that, user must be having Microsoft Entra account. Then Microsoft Copilot, it is available as an add-on plan okay so you can purchase that plan then microsoft 365 app applications so the de de your desktop application for example word excel powerpoint and all so this copilot is available in web version of the uh, application when a license is assigned you need to have one drive account yes so if you are using your copilot prompts you want to take help from the co-pilot make sure all your documents your content is saved in your onedrive so you need to have onedrive account uh, like you are saving your file over there you are sharing your file saving your file from uh, into onedrive 
right and integrating your file from the one drive itself then to use microsoft 365 copilot with microsoft teams you must use microsoft uh, team desktop client or web client to use copilot with microsoft uh, whiteboard you must have whiteboard enabled for your tenant So this is the prerequisites as I have just discussed. So as this co-pilot will help you to understand the context and the user need, it will transform your work. And it offers some capabilities uh, like how you are going to engage with your content, how you are going to present, how you are going to write any documents, draft any email, right? With proper security control right and the user access control you can only have the data that you have access for if any file which is shared with you right and you are only able to view that file you will not be able to transform or edit any content over there with the help of copilot if you are a owner of the file or if you have the edit right, then only this copilot can help you out to edit or transform your content. So this copilot always make sure that yes, you are having the proper right or the permission on the current content that you are going to use or you are looking for the copilot help. Now it is very important that how copilot works. So co-pilot, it's understanding context, uh, context and your user need. So this co-pilot, it analyzes your content and gets the context from your work data in Microsoft 365. It transform how you work by searching, by using natural, freezing and large language model. This co-pilot as a user. You are not uh, going to directly, you know, integrate the co-pilot. Before that, there is a layer of M365 application. So you are going to use any application. That may be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, your Outlook, your Teams, right? And then you are using co-pilot within that application. Now this co-pilot is going to get your prompt. And then it use a Microsoft graph capability that how the data of users, devices, co-workers, when you are collaborating, sharing your file, shared any message, any email. So this co-pilot, uh, uh, it uses a Microsoft graph capability. And then it gets the content. It uses a large language model. Okay, and then it understands your language, the human readable language, and gives you the result accordingly and generate the content. And the content, how it is getting and uh, getting the result, it is not something that out of your uh, OneDrive or out of your um, Exchange or your Teams. The Content which is created by Copilot, it is from your OneDrive only. It is your SharePoint only. It may be your Exchange online content. It may be your Teams chat content. You may not know what conversation I have done with my colleague. You need to search that, right? But asking that content from the Copilot, it will automatically search your content if any conversation you have done, any chat you have done with any of your co colleague and the conversation you are looking for. When you're drafting any uh, email. So this Copilot is going to refer the email which is already there in your email boxes. The conversation, the emails that you have received or you have sent to your colleague. There are some core component of Microsoft 365 Copilot. 
The first one that is LLM. So this LLM, it represents a class of artificial intelligence model. That is specifies in understanding and generating human like text. The large in LLM, it signifies both the size of the model in term of number of parameter. This LLM, it including the model like chat GPT. That is a type of generative AI. Instead of predicting or classifying generative AI, it's like LLM. It can produce entirely a new content. And when it is applied to the text, this LLM can generate some relevant and correct response based on provided prompt. Then you have NLP, Natural Language Processing. It is an AI technology that helps machine understand, interpret, and then respond to human language. But respond in a way that is meaningful. This natural language processing, this is a, a technology behind your copilot ability. By using this ability only, copilot is able to read, generate the text similar to how a human do. There are some components that is involved here in natural language. That is tokenization. That simplifies complex paragraph by breaking it down uh, your text into your smallest chunk like word or phrases. Then you have semantic analysis that helps copilot to understand underlying meaning and the context. So as a user, how it is going to understand our what what we are trying to looking for, what we are expecting from the copilot. Then sentiment analysis. X is the mood. Are you commanding? Are you in a requesting mode? Right? You are in an angry mode, rotative mode, right? So this copilot can understand user intent more accurately. It may be a thankfulness. Okay. Then the language transaction. This is like uh, added multilingual task that allow copilot to assist the user across different languages. So these all are the component that are involved in NLP natural language processing. Then micro, Microsoft graph that I uh, explained here in this uh, diagram. This graph is uh, your connective tissues. These connective issues that bind all your applications and comes together all the data at a single place. This graph brings this information together so that the user do not need to navigate away or switch between the application. Right, so this Microsoft graph capability used by Copilot for M365 create the content, summarize your data. Transform your data. So Microsoft 365 applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams. So this Copilot support user in the context of their work. For example, your Copilot in the Word, it can help you to create the document, to create the proposal. Right? If you have to compare resume, uh, like for you are from HR, you have to compare resume. You have uh, 10 applications. Okay, now you have to uh, compare. You have to uh, consider only three resume. So how you are going to take help from the co-pilot? Anyone, any questions so far? Any doubts so far? Please feel free to put your queries into the chat box. Okay, so in between I will be coming to the chat and we'll see the questions and I will answer you for the same. Okay, yes, sorry, I forgot to uh, share you the session flow. 
So this uh, session is uh, for four hours. So as it was started at uh, 10 o'clock, we'll be over by two and uh, we'll take a short break of 20 minutes uh, by 12. And uh, yes, last uh, 15 minutes I will be taking as a QA. So if you have any doubt, any questions related with a co-pilot, you can put into the chat. Plus I will be sharing you some important link related with a co-pilot. And there are other courses for the co-pilot. I will be sharing all the link in. Okay, so all of you, I hope whatever I have explained, uh, I have given you much idea at least about what is this co-pilot is all about. Can you all show me thumbs up if all is okay? What is explained uh, till this topic? No, Copilot doesn't use GPT. The chat GPT is a different one, a different thing, right? So as this LLM is, uh, uh, this GPT is what? It uses the LLM. Same way this Copilot uses the LLM. It doesn't use the chat GPT. No, it is uh, if you are using M365 Copilot, it use the data of your organization, not the outside organization data. But yes, when you are using Microsoft 365 Copilot for browser, so there I will show you that how you can use the capability of Copilot to use the data within your organization or to get the content from the outside. OK, so that I will show you with the Microsoft Edge with your browser. Uh, as I said, this co-pilot can be used in your Microsoft 365 applications. The most common application that we use in day-to-day -day life, like the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, Outlook. Okay, and when I will be giving you the demo, it will be more clear that how we can use the co-pilot in the different applications. Okay, Vikrant. See the large language model LLM that I have just discussed. So this LLM. Right. So it this LLM, it includes the model. As I said, it includes the model. You must be aware with the chat GPT. So this LLM use the model like chat GPT. OK, so this LLM it is represents the class of AI, right? AI model. And this model helps to understand and generate the human like content. Timar Kanda, I hope it is clear. LLM. OK, so guys feel free to put your question into the chat box. I will be answering you for the same. OK, frequently I will be coming to this chat section and we'll answer you for the same. OK, so let's move ahead. So this is what I have just discussed, the component of your copilot, Microsoft Graph, Microsoft Copilot. So now how this co-pilot and how your Microsoft uh, your Microsoft is committed to the responsible AI. So this Microsoft, it actually integrate with AI. Right. This has some. That uh, it follows some guiding principles, right? For example, fairness. So this Microsoft, it aims to eliminate the biasness ensuring the equal treatment for all the user <laughs> means this co-pilot is not like you are a special one and you are a manager so okay i will give you this type of response and if you are just a normal user a team member so this co-pilot will behave differently <laughs> no it's not like that it treats all the users equally then the reliability and the safety means this uh, it it uh, uh, makes sure that yes 
whatever the content which is performed or uh, generated by this AI technology, it is totally safe and consistent. Like you are uh, uh, asking for any question uh, from your content and today you are getting uh, a response and uh, after uh, one week it is giving a totally different response. <laughs> this is right. Uh, this, this should not be done. So this is how the reliability and the safety is, is uh, supported here. Then the privacy and the security. So your data is totally protected. Like in your security portal, if any um, security policy is applied, right? Any information protection is applied. Any sensitive label is applied on the content. So this co-pilot take care about the security applicable to your content and plus your user access on the content. How is, is allowed to use this content? What is the access level is provided? Then the inclusiveness. So this AI tool, it is crafted to be accessible and beneficial for everyone. Regardless of any physical ability, any gender. OK, then the transparency. So Microsoft believes. That in keeping your user informed about how its AI system work and their intended purpose. And it takes the proper accountability, ethical and legal standards. Are at the forefront with AI developer and designer. Then Microsoft. As it's a global leader in developing and deploying AI solutions. That are ethical, trustworthy and totally secure. To achieve this vision, Microsoft has invested in various teams and different resources, right? And that work collaboratively with to ensure that AI is designed and used responsibly and transparently. So this was the introduction I have given you that in here we have discussed about Microsoft 365. What is the purpose functionality? It's working uh, principle, right? Core component and Microsoft commitment to responsible AI practice. So now here in this part, we are going to explore the possibility. With Copilot for Office 365. So here in this part, we are going to explore the practical usage of Microsoft 365 Copilot, right? So this Copilot for Office 365. It help you to transform your app 365 experience. This co-pilot applications that is like you where you can apply the co-pilot capability. In the outlook, you can streamline your email. You can highlight some critical information. And it save your time and you can focus on the important task. In your PowerPoint, you can create. Powerful presentation. You can enhance the creativity. You can create some visual appealing size slides over there. If you have to edit any slide, add any new slide, right? In Excel. You can do some. You can uh, analyze your content. You can get the summary of your content. Highlight some important value, some important data. In your word, it boosts content creation. You can create. Effective uh, uh, you can draft the content. You can get the summarization summary of your data. You may be having, you know, 500 pages, um, 100 pages of the document, right? Then how to read the document and how to get the, uh, you know, just the insight of this document. So here this co-pilot can give you the insight quickly within a minute. Not minute actually within some seconds. You can also focus on a particular area. Where you want to focus or you want to get the summary for. Just give me a minute. 
Okay, so in Microsoft 365 Copilot, in a word, you are able to transform your content. It helps us drafting from scratch, enhancing existing text, capturing the essence. You can initiate a document using brief prompt, right? And when you will open your Copilot, uh, when you open your word, here you can start using Copilot. And when you have created any content, if you want, you can rephrase it. You can ask Copilot to make the changes which is created. And at the end, you may be having, you know, multiple option to select from. So here you can write. If you want to edit something like make it more effective, make the make it commanding, make it in a requestive mode. OK, then. Uh, here, this is a B section where you may be having different draft available as you have asked Copilot to make, a, you know, changes as you are not satisfied with the content created. So at the end, you will be having four or five options so you can select which one you want to keep. And the one you want to keep, select that and click on keep it. If you want to regenerate it, rephrase it. So you can click on it to rephrase it. And if you want to delete the content, you can discard. Then here, this is the area where you can again prompt, write the prompt to again uh, change and start with a new content. You can summarize your document with Copilot in a word. As I said, the file which is there in your SharePoint or in your OneDrive, you can use Copilot within that only. You can write the effective prompt how you want to summarize the document. Then you can summarize and drop the email with the copilot in Outlook. For example, you have, uh, you know, uh, you have mail trail, right? Now you do not know which uh, email you have done any conversation about, like let's say any uh, agreement. Okay, you have any marketing strategy you have discussed for, or any particular conversation you are looking for, any particular attachment you are looking for. So you can ask Copilot to do the same. Or for example, if any email is sent from any colleague, and if you want to have the summarization of the same. If you want to draft a totally a new email, you can ask Copilot for the same. In designing captivating presentation with a Copilot. So in your Copilot, in your PowerPoint, you can use Copilot to create a new presentation, edit the presentation, create the presentation from any particular file which is already there in your OneDrive. In your Excel, you can summarize your uh, Excel sheet. You can transform your data. You can analyze the data. <laughs> In Microsoft team, you can have the summarization of your team's uh, content, the conversation, the chat. What was the last uh, just to have the summary of uh, uh, the chat you have done with your colleague in the last week? OK, if any of the conversation, any chat, any message sent to you and you have missed missed that. OK, you want to get that quickly. So how you can uh, do that with the help of Copilot? So this Copilot with graph grounded chat means the chat you have done in the teams. You get the summary of the same. In Microsoft. Copilot in Microsoft Bing. So in a Bing, as I said, you have two mode. Generally, most of you must be using web mode. So in a web mode, you are using the content outside your M365. That is a global Internet. But if you are making it into work mode, you can ask the question related to the M365 environment. Now let me quickly show you how we can start using Copilot with different application. So first I'm going to show you opening a new Word document. Let's click on create. So here in my organization, I'm using M365 Copilot license. 
So I can use the co-pilot capability not only to my web application, but to all my desktop application too. So here as I am open, you can see I have this co-pilot icon. You can click on it and start writing prompt here. You can ask co-pilot to start working for you. If it is a scratch, you can ask co-pilot to create a content. Here you can refer a file. For example, already some content is uh, available in another file. That may be any Excel file, that may be any PPT file. And out of that, you want to create a new document. So you can do the same. And even here at the top, you have the copilot. So you can use this copilot icon to ask something about your document. Here you can ask the questions. If you want to have a summary about this document, you can do that. Now, let me show you in Excel. Let me open a new blank file. Or, um, yes, let me create a new uh, user already a file which is there. Like this is the Excel file. Here, when you want to use Copilot in Excel, first, very important thing your file should be saved in your OneDrive. If it is saved in desktop, this copilot cannot help you. It will ask you to save it in your OneDrive first. Now, second thing is that your data in Excel, it must be in a table form. Like right now, if you can see, my data is written under a table. This is what the table boundary. So this copilot need a boundary of your data. So boundary, I mean, I can also write my data here, right? I can do that. But this copilot cannot understand this data. So here at the top, you have this copilot. Click on it. See. So when you will put your cursor outside the table boundary, it will say you auto save is turn off. Second, I only work on a file. Okay, that is already auto save. It says that it is not auto save. It means it is not there in my OneDrive. It must be saved in my local machine. So first, I need to save it into the OneDrive. So let me first open the file which is there in my OneDrive folder. Uh, let me check. Okay, so here you will notice it is uh, open in a auto save mode. Now here I can start using copilot. Okay, but if the time I put my cursor outside this table. Let's see, is it going to help us? Let's see. Okay, so it is automatically tracking your data. Okay, that's great. This is a recent uh, update I am I have just noticed because earlier Microsoft uh, this co-pilot was not helping if the cursor is outside the table. It always uh, says that uh, put your cursor inside the table. Okay, that's great. Okay, but yes, uh, just to be a safer side, make sure your data is there in a tabular boundary so that Copilot can give you the effective result. Okay, so in the Copilot uh, in Excel, you can use Copilot and analyze your data, ask the question about your data, get a summary of your data. Uh, you can uh, create a new column, write the calculated column with the help of Copilot. You can uh, uh, format your data. You can apply the for formatting of your data, right? Now, let's see if you have to use with PPT.
Okay, already a PPT is open, so I can show you here only. Like, let's say this is the PPT already I'm using for this presentation. Now, here at the top, you will notice I have this copilot icon. And here, this is the area I got where I can ask copilot. I can write my prompt here to create a presentation, summarize this presentation, organize this presentation, right? If you want to create a new one, uh, you can open a blank presentation and you can now ask Copilot to create a presentation on the given topic. Now let's see if you have to open uh, Teams. So in your Teams, let me go to Teams yeah, here. If you have to start Copilot, you can go to Chats and in every chat, like currently uh, this chat is going on with this current ongoing meeting. So here at the top, you can see I have this copilot icon. I can use this copilot icon over there and I can ask with the copilot if any ask any question ask with at the rate uh, mention me. OK, uh, if uh, get the summary of the chat that is done in this meeting. OK, if any conversation, one to one conversation done with any of my colleague, you can do that. Here at the top, you have this copilot. You can click on it. Here you can ask copilot. These all are the su suggestions you can use. OK. Like uh, summary, summarize team message where I have been at the rate mentioned this week. Let's try this. This is what the summary I have got and Copilot has quickly helped me. OK, so this is the two way you can use Copilot going to the particular chat or at the top you have this Copilot icon. OK, and you can get the overall summary from all the chat where a particular file is shared, any particular keyword is used. OK. Now let's see if I have open browser. And here I will be using. Office.com. Now let me just log in with my organization account. See, now I have open office.com. I have logged in with my organization account. Where I have copilot license. Now here you will notice I have this copilot. You can use this copilot and can get the data, the summary, the file which is there in your OneDrive. So it is using the content and generating the content which is there in your OneDrive or in your SharePoint file. Like here again you have some suggestions, generate ideas, Get the guest, prep for that meeting, get calendar information. So all the things you can just write your prompt over there. Here you can add the people and files. OK, like if you have to add any file. You can select any colleague. You can select any particular file, right? Let's say this is my colleague. It is going to generate the content. Any uh, conversation done with Sunita, any document shared with Sunita. I have got this. Like I have an upcoming meeting. You had a meeting title this. It has sent you. She has sent me a email, right? You both uh, participate in group chat. About these chats, right? So this is how you can use the scope pilot in your office.com. It will give you the summary of the data which is there, the file which is there in your OneDrive or your SharePoint. Now let's say you have to start using Copilot with browser. So when you will open Bing.com or even here, like even you are not typing anything, let me just close close it. 
here you have the scope pilot icon can you see that this is free of cost it doesn't require any organization license you can click on this icon to open the copilot or you can write bing.com any of the option you can choose now at the top you have work mode or you have web mode you can log in with your any microsoft account and you can continue with the same here you have web mode and work mode if you are using work mode means uh, users who are having office 365 license here you can notice now it is showing you co-pilot for m365 so when it's in a work mode you can ask the question related to the content which is available in your m365 license boundary you can have the summarization of your data okay you can have the summary of the chat you can track your task if any pending email you have not answered yet okay any email where uh, uh, which is marked as important okay the bulleted list of any key point from any particular file any question you want to ask about the content okay so you can ask it here if it is in a web mode means it is not only in the boundary of your office 365 but it's taking the content from the overall which is available in the internet you can ask the question for example, what is Copilot? Now the content which is generated, it is giving you the link that is available in the internet. Okay, now I will open the work mode. How? effective prompt with copilot in m365 Now the content which is generated, it is not from the web. It is from the file which is saved in my OneDrive, or it file the it may be saved in my SharePoint. So can you see the change when you have open web mode? That time it was generating the content and it was giving me the reference link. But this time when I have opened the work mode, it is generating the content but from the file which is there in my OneDrive. You can select the file and it will open the file. So this is my presentation, which is there in my OneDrive. There is another file. This is the M4005. This is what the file that I'm currently using. <laughs> See, this is how the scope pilot is generating the content. And giving you the reference. Okay. So this is how you can start using Office 365 Copilot in your browser, opening the work mode. Here you have different other options like in uh, you can use some attachment, any particular file or any conversation you want to refer and create the file. For example, um, there is a meeting done. OK, and after the meeting is over, you have to create MOM. Now how to uh, create that? No problem, just you can refer the particular chart. And with the reference of the same, this co-pilot is going to create you the MOM. OK, so this is how you can start using co-pilot on different application. Anyone, any questions so far? Uh, Deepak, my screen is not visible. You can just exit and uh, rejoin the meeting. Please try the same. And I hope it is visible to others. 
Uh, Swapnil, of course, I will take this topic and will show you when I will be taking that uh, prompt with a uh, word and all. Okay. Sure, I will show you. So this MOM is nothing. This is just a summary, summarization of the charting that is done. Okay. So this summarization, it's totally depend the point, how many points you can take. Once the co-pilot will be added in our account, can we use it on application? For example, yes, of course. This is what Prithvi Raza have just shown you that once this co-pilot is added, we can start using this co-pilot with our word. This is what exactly I have just shown you. Okay. So I have given you the demo how we can use co-pilot in Word, Excel, Teams. PowerPoint and your uh, OneDrive, okay, and your browser. This is what just the demo I have given you how to start using and how to get your co-pilot in these application. Now let's go back to the PPT. Now here in this part, we are going to discuss how we can optimize and extend co-pilot. So here in this part, we are going to explore the best practices for Microsoft 365 co-pilot, key extension methods, ensuring you harness the full potential of co-pilot functionality. So when you are using Copilot, so this Copilot is actually designed for task management, uh, or I should say effective task management and collaboration. But how to take the advantage of its full potential? So this Copilot's core capabilities we need to explore and understand that how it can help us in a way it is required by us. So this co-pilot can connect to other tools, pull the data from these external sources and then automate your task. Microsoft is had it has gained some valuable insight at how this uh, AI is going to transform our work from uh, the ten of uh, thousand customers and the employee who are already using Microsoft 365 Copilot. This new way of working is really needed. So according to the data from such as across Microsoft 365 services. On any given workday, Microsoft heaviest Microsoft 365 users, they have searched for uh, what they need 18 times. They have received more than 250 emails and they have sent or read nearly 150 chats a day. So just imagine that how much our productive hour are spent just on doing these things. Writing the documents, writing the email, replying on the same. So these Microsoft uh, across the globe, these Microsoft Teams users, they are in uh, like uh, in meeting. Many times they are in a meeting, creating the content, explaining the content, right? So this AI helps lift the weight of the work, right? And improving the capability of a human being. So when you're using this co-pilot, you have to follow some best practices to fully harness and potential of M365. It is very essential to grab both its capability and the guidance for its optimal and safe usage. So first, you should provide a clear and concise prompt. So this is a fundamental part. What you are expecting from the co-pilot? This is just uh, take it as a normal conversation we do with each other. 
right for example let's say currently i am a trainer of this session okay now you all are attendees when i'm explaining something you must be having some doubts some questions any of the part must not be clear to you so now you have to ask some questions with me so the way you are going to write the question in the chat as you are not able to talk to me right now because you all are on mute you cannot unmute yourself so this is the only way to communicate with me this is what the chatting so i can only understand you and your expectation with this chat written in this chat area correct for example here i uh, uh, let me just read one uh, chat bal mukund has written as we are talking about sharepoint will it search for content all site collection on which i have permission document so this is what that bal mukund has written and he is expecting from me to give the answer so i can only understand what the sentence he has written and what i have understood that balmukund is asking me that the content it is generated by the copilot is it getting generated from the site content that is permission he is having permission for so yes balmukund i have understood your question and giving you the answer that yes the copilot can only create the content or search the content which is there in your sharepoint site that may be your personal sharepoint site and i hope you all know that this personal sharepoint is nothing is just your one drive or if you have any other internet site in your organization so you can only get the content or get the summary of the content that you are a member of or if that content is shared with you okay so with the related permission only this copilot can generate the content for you so i hope balmukund i have given you the answer now the same way this balmukund has asked me a question and i have given the answer the same way this copilot you can treat copilot the way you are talking to a human being actually not talking but yes you are um, um putting your prompt right you are putting your questions same way this copilot is going to read and understand your question so it is very important that how you are asking the question how you are writing the prompt it should be very clear to the person who is going to read your sentences read your questions okay so here you i have few questions let me just answer how is copilot is different than a github copilot okay so github copilot is a different area okay so i will get back to you sarfaraz and will share you the related content let me come back to you later license we have for those okay so this here in this uh, session we are uh, working on microsoft copilot for m365 okay so this uh, uh, copilot for uh, github this is totally a different topic okay so i will show you uh, surely giving you the detail about the same anyone else copilot will be added in our account we can use in all the application okay okay so i have given all the questions okay so basically server as this copilot uh, github is nothing is a code completion and it's a automatic programming tool this is basically for the developer so those who are in developer line they can use github for copilot okay and the related uh, license detail i can share you the link subscription plan for github okay so you can refer the same
and this GitHub Copilot, it actually uses the combination of both GitHub capability and the open AI capability. <clears throat> okay, so let me go back to my PPT. Okay, so I hope the first point was clear to you all. Provide clear and concise prompt. Now the second. This is what? Trust, but verify. So as you have, of course, returned the good, good, good prompt, effective prompt, the best prompt, right? And the co-pilot has given you the answer. But as it's based on AI technology, it's not actually the human being which is answering to you. So you should trust a technology, but always verify the same. So one of the goal of 365 Copilot is to provide insight and accurate recommendation. Okay, but as it's a tool, so as an extra layer of security or as an extra layer of test for confirmation that everything is okay, you can just uh, you know, cross check everything. So even the co-pilot says that this is what the content is generation uh, is generated. Do you want to accept that or do you want to add it to your content or not? So just make sure that co-pilot uh, the content is generated. It is okay. Now next, provide regular feedback. So Microsoft 365 co-pilot is always welcome for the feedback. It may be that you are writing the prompt, but you are not getting the expected answer. In that case, you have a thumbs up and thumbs down. So you can give your feedback about your experience, about the performance of the co-pilot. Is it very effective? This is what the uh, answer you was looking for or the uh, response you were looking for the, from the co-pilot. If it is as per your expectation, give a thumbs up. Okay, if it is not, no problem, go for thumbs down, write your feedback, what was the wrong, uh, wrong with that output. And you can even take the screenshot of the output that was generated by the co-pilot. If something is wrong, no problem, you can attach that uh, uh, screenshot while giving your feedback. <clears throat> then avoid over-reliance. The capability of MD65 co-pilot, it is vast. But it should not be replaced with human judgment. While it provides a foundation, the critical thinking, personal expertise, aids are irrespecible. You cannot replace it with a human capability. You cannot replace it with human creativity. So utilizing co-pilot as a supplementary tool, it's okay. But it should not be in a main lead as the name itself is co-pilot. But always think that yes, we are main pilot. And this co-pilot is just our co-pilot, it's just a helper. Okay. Next is unlock your creativity. Microsoft 365 co-pilot, it offers more than just a routine output. So you can just divorce your prompt. You can write a same prompt in a different way. Try to be more creative. Try to get the effective output. OK. Then always prioritize your privacy and security. Privacy and security. This is uh, paramount in today's digital era. This Microsoft 365 Copilot, it is designed with security protocol that users should always uh, follow. So be mindful of the information that you provide. This proactive approach, it guarantees both efficiency and data integrity. Then you have to stay updated every time. This co-pilot is continuously changing. It is uh, introducing new prompt, new, uh, you know, something new is always uh, coming up. So always stay tuned. What is new? Any updated feature? Any feature enhancement? Any refinement? So always remain remain open to the feedback, both from the uh, both from the uh, your co-pilot and your peer. In your organization, if there are five users, 
So always be in touch with each other. How they are getting response from the co-pilot? Is, is there is any effective way or effective prompt to get the answer of this particular sheet? But this particular PPT I'm trying to create how you are using this co-pilot. OK, so this is how you can just keep yourself updated. Keep giving feedback to the co-pilot. OK. Now when you are going to write effective prompt. This is not only just writing a sentence with a co-pilot. But an effective prompt, it can enhance co-pilot output. There are four main part of your prompt. First, your goal. What you are looking for, what you are expecting from the co-pilot. Do you want to create any content? Do you want to summarize the content? Do you want to have a bullet point? Do you want to analyze the content? First, your goal should be clear. Now, second, it is your context in what context you are looking for. If you are looking for the summarization of the something. Summarization of what? Summarization of any chat. Summarization of any particular file. Summarization of any particular content of the file. Any paragraph of the file. Any slide of the PPT. And third is thing is your expectation. Means you are getting the response, but how you want the tone should be. We can write a same sentence. We can speak a same sentence in a different mode. In different expressions. You can request for something. You can order for something. You can command for something. Right, you can be very thankful. So how you want that response should be it should be very friendly, it should be very uh, formal, it should be casual. If it is an invitation for any meeting, it's an I've any uh, for example, if there is any project launch meeting is going on. So this is an official invitation should be sent. If it is an invitation of a Diwali party in your organization, so it should be a friendly invitation. For a party invitation. OK. So your goal is clear, your context, your expectation. Then what about your source from where you are looking for the data? Is it from any email? Is it from any Teams chat? OK, it, is it for, from any particular document, any particular PPT? So these four main part. You need to examine how to build an effective prompt. Like here. You have to start with an end in the mind. Like generate three to five bullet point. This is your goal. Then give the context. Context is what to prepare me for a meeting with client X to discuss their phase three plus brand campaign. Now. Third. That is to give the expectation. Define the parameter. OK, so here you can also write the source from where you are looking for the information. Like focus on email, so you have to get the content to discuss with the uh, client for a meeting. So the content you are looking from the email. So any email discussion is done with the client. Any point that is mentioned by the client. Any chat which is done in your team teams uh, or in but the chat done with your colleagues or any other meeting is done. Previous meeting is done. So you want to get the bullet points from that meeting and continue with the current meeting. Now the fourth is your expectation. Is it a simple language? Is it any formal language? Right? So this is how you can create the effective prompt. So the final it would be generate three to five bullet points to prepare me for a meeting with client X to discuss their phase three plus brand campaign. Focus on email and teams chat since June. Please use simple language so I can get up to speed quickly. Once it is examined. You can review. 
You can review prompting best practices. So first, provide clear and concise prompt. This Microsoft, it built M365 Copilot upon the large language model that is connected to M365 application and the data. So you can go beyond what you can do with other LM, LLM uh, powered uh, chatbots. So this co-pilot performance once depend on the clarity and the specificity of the prompt provided by the user. So when you're interacting with co-pilot, it is very important to be both clear and concise. It should be clear, make it your request or your query uh, that should not be having any ambiguous uh, ambiguity, right? It should be very concise. Keep it very brief. <clears throat> Use some positive uh, uh, instructions. And if then a statement, if not this, then what you are looking for? Giving some examples. Like summarize this meeting. Rewrite this document to be more concise. Right? If you are only writing summarize this meeting transcript. Then this prompt only is not giving the relevant content. So how on what basis it is going to summarize the meeting? Right? Then experiment with some different style. It is like being more creative with your tone, with your language. Any um, you can explore some poems, historical, uh, like uh, any other conversation and all that you have already done. You can try some specific tone, casual, professional. For example, use language a non-technical person could understand. Because maybe like you are a technology, tech, uh, technical person, but other person may not. He cannot understand what you are trying to say or explain. So you can write the same sentence in a non-technical way so that a non-technical user can understand the same. When you are um, talking with your boss, the senior, your tone should be like that. If you are responding to or replying to the email, Maybe he is your junior, maybe he is your colleague, maybe he is your friend working in the same organization. So for every each person, you may be having a different tone of talking. You can give co-pilot a point of view from which to answer. Give co-pilot a context. So when you're providing a point of view from which to answer, it helps co-pilot to understand the context of your request and generate more accurate response. Usually it involves some explanation about who you are and what you are trying to achieve. So the AI can role play. For example, I am a trainer. OK, when I'm looking for any content, I will be mentioning my role and I am a trainer in my organization. And I'm looking to create any content or I'm trying to create a TOC for my client. Please help me to create the TOC on so and so topic. So this is how this co-pilot can understand your role and your requirement. For example, you have to create a proposal. OK, for example, you have to create any marketing strategy. For example, there is an, a product launch event. So you have to mention your role. Accordingly, this co-pilot can understand your point of view. For example, you are a product marketer and you are working on a new campaign. You are a social media manager writing a LinkedIn uh, copy. You can also ask for a response in the style of a specific persona or approach. For example, tell me how to solve this problem with the expertise of any business professor. Or tell me about uh, uh, the company concept in a way of a non-technical person could understand. For example, I have to write a document about Microsoft 365 Copilot that should be understood by a non-technical person. For example, in my organization, we have some salespersons and they have to uh, uh, communicate with their clients and explain the capability of Copilot. But as these salespeople, they are not a technical person. 
So I need to write a document for my team, sales team, so that they can understand the co-pilot capability and explain the same in front of the client. So I can write the document accordingly. Know what to avoid when you are creating the prompt. Certain practice, it can lead to less optimum interaction with M365 Copilot. You can avoid overly gen, uh, general uh, prompts, which can lead to uh, broad and less useful answers. Don't cream too many questions or, or requests into one prompt. At a time, try to be more specific, looking for a specific content or a question you can ask. <clears throat> Don't assume Copilot has a context from previous inter in interaction. Unless within the same session, like you have opened the file, you have clicked on Copilot icon. So this is a new session has started. If any previous conversation you have already done with the Copilot, do not assume that Copilot can continue with the same conversation that you have done yesterday or the last time you have used that file. So every time you will open the file, every time a new session will be started. Understand your co-pilot's limitation. You guys, just give me a minute. Let me have a sip of water. OK, I'm back. So yeah. So it is very important to recognize that while Microsoft 365 Copilot is powerful. It is having some limitation too. So knowing is its limitation, it can help us to create some effective prompt. Like if you are. Writing a prompt which is very complex to understand. So this co-pilot may not give you the effective result or effective answer. At a time, even in a human being with a human being, you are continuously just asking the questions, multiple questions at the same time. The person will say, oh, hold down slowly, slowly ask one by one, <laughs> right? So same way the co-pilot is. You have to ask questions, but at a time, one question. Or if your sentence is very complex, be more specific. Break it down. Optimize for repetition. So this co-pilot is more efficient at performing simple repetitive tasks multiple times compared to manually performing the same task. This co-pilot can sometimes misinterpret ambiguous prompts. So always aim for clarity. Responses that you get from the co-pilot that are random. So using the exact same prompt multiple times, it can result in different responses. So do not ask the same question again and again. <clears throat> and do not expect that every time you are getting the same response. OK, because these responses are random. Your LLM model, it provides you the foundation upon which co-pilot is, is built. So it can occasionally generate biased, offensive, harmful or incorrect content. So therefore, it's imperative that you consistently review and validate the response for accuracy and appropriateness. Always give your feedback. Be very polite using basic adequate, like when you are interacting with a human being. Like, can you please answer me for this question? Can you please help me answering the same? Right? Writing the thank you once you get the expected result. Okay? Be very polite. When you work with AI, consider the well known expression commonly referred to as golden rule. 
treat others the way you want to be treated. But how can this advice apply to AI? It is not as if you your co-pilot feels uh, uh, appreciative <laughs> when you say please or thank you. Maybe so, but using basic adequate when interacting with co-pilot, it helps generate respectful collaborative outputs. This LLM, also known as Genitive AI, are trained on human conversation in the same way that your email uh, autocomplete suggests a likely next word or phrase. So this LLM pick a sentence or paragraph it thinks you might want based on your input. So when copilot recognize politeness in a request, it's more likely to be polite back. So this is what the way you are talking to other the same way you are getting the reply in the response. Be curious. Do not stick yourself to the one answer. Ask the same question in a different way. This co-pilot can give you multiple responses. OK, you can accept the one which is accepted that you are OK. So you can ask the same question in different way. Be more creative. You can be more specific. No, if you are not satisfied, regenerate the content. Ask the question in a different way. OK. Then. One of the most common mistake people make with AI is giving up, <laughs> giving up after a single prompt result. As I said, it's not only that limit limit yourself to only one prompt or asking in a one way. Copilot is dynamic and it is very interactive process. So where you and your copilot work together to create the content, solve any complex problem and learn new information based on your goal, expectation and the feedback. So your initial ask is just a starting prompt. As you provide more detail, more context, the conversation help co-pilot to understand what you want and generate more relevant output. It also help everyone learn. So when you ask co-pilot to explain, summarize or paraphrase something, you can gain new insight and perspective. You can give feedback when it produces good or bad, uh, bad prompt. Appreciate if it is giving you good prompt. If bad, give your feedback. Doing so enable it to learn from your expectations and improve its performance. For example, you can give the answer to the co-pilot. This sentence is too bad. Please be more specific or thank you. This version is better. Or you can ask co-pilot, please add a sentence that summarizes the main point of the paragraph. You can extend co-pilot MC65 with plugins. <clears throat> you can extend the co-pilot capability. You can do lots of its own, but to make it even more powerful, you can extend this capability by using different extend, uh, extendability uh, capabilities. Options. It can be connected to other tools. You can pull in data from external sources and automate your task. Extensibility options are a way of customize and expand what Copilot can do by connecting it with other application uh, services and the workflow. These options allow Copilot to integrate with external platforms, access different type of data and perform a wide variety of tasks. Different type of extens uh, extensibility options that is available with the copilot that are API plugin, graph connector, declarative copilots, team method extension or copilot studio. Here I'm just writing this, uh, just playing this video. Plugins amplify the transformative power of Microsoft 365 Copilot, taking your productivity and working experience to new heights. At the core of Microsoft 365 Copilot runs an advanced processing and orchestration engine that seamlessly integrates Microsoft 365 apps, the Microsoft Graph, and foundation models. 
It's grounded in your data, context, and uses the same system you trust to store your email, chat, and files. And your data always stays with you. It's not used for training purposes. When you add plugins to the mix, you can elevate your Copilot experience, transforming how you interact with apps, data, and services. And for you as a developer, this means you can reach hundreds of millions of people where they work every day. Use your words as input and Copilot will handle the rest. It can access real-time information, retrieve tailored, knowledge-based resources, and assist users with actions across apps. It calls the appropriate plugin for your request to deliver an experience that feels like magic. Unlock the potential of Copilot with a rich ecosystem of plugins already available. Thanks to the seamless integration of ChatGPT plugins, Microsoft Teams message extensions, and Power Platform connectors. And with the Teams toolkit, building a new plugin is easy. All you need is an API endpoint to get started. Discover the possibilities with plugins for Microsoft Copilot and step into a world where your apps help turn the words of your users into the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Okay, I, I hope this video could give you a better understanding about the uh, uh, plugins. Similarly, you have Microsoft Graph Connector. <clears throat> this Microsoft Graph Connector <coughs> so Microsoft <coughs> organizations, they can enhance the co-pilot capability by connecting M365 with third party tools and services, including enterprise applications and external platform like it can also include with ERP and CRM applications. So organizations who are using a, a power platform who have the ERP applications and all or they have some social networking sites, they can use a Microsoft Graph connectors to get connected with these platforms. OK, so that's it about the first module. So in this part, I could I hope I could give you the understanding about MC65 Copilot, how you can start writing good prompt. OK. Now, in the next module, we are going to discuss how to write the effective prompt to summarize your data with Word, Excel, PowerPoint and other application. How you can create uh, the content with the help of Copilot, how you can edit and transform your content or how you can ask questions or you can analyze your data with the help of Copilot. Okay, so I hope the first module was clear to everyone. Can you all show me thumbs up if everything was clear to you all? Uh, Shruti, can you please uh, elaborate your question? <laughs> this is like I'm giving you practice for the co-pilot prompt. <laughs> <clears throat> So Shruti, can you please be more, more specific which tool you are looking for? <clears throat> yes, hi Shruti. Explain application in day to day work with Copilot. Applications uh, in day to day work with Copilot. Are you talking about the prompt we can use with uh, Copilot and all? Yeah, this is what uh, uh, Shruti I'm going to cover in the next module. Okay, don't worry. So, in the next module, we are starting how we can craft effective prompt for Microsoft Copilot for M365. Always welcome, Shruti. OK, so let me open my next module.
OK, so this session I'm going to take ahead in four uh, main areas. So first we are going to discuss how we can summarize the content. See, you may already must be having some document. You must be using some uh, PPT, some Excel sheet and all. So with already the document is created, already the content is created with you. It is very important sometime for us to have the summary of the same. Let me give you my personal example. I use PPTs during my sessions. OK, like for example, currently I'm using a PPT. OK, which is having few slides explaining about the co-pilot and all. Similarly, I have other topics like let's say I use some um, security session. I use some marketing session. Like let's say there is a topic SC 200. This is the security topic. OK, now this uh, topic, it takes four full days to cover the entire training topic. OK, now let's say for each day I have a different PPT Four PPT I'm using. Now let's say my organization, they have arranged a session that is only for four hours. That is a let's say exam prep session for my participants where I have to help them how they can prepare themselves for the SC 200 exam. OK, now the content that is covered in uh, four full days, I have to. Give them a summary of all the content which is covered in that topic. So I can use this summarization part with the Microsoft 365 Copilot capability. And I can request Copilot to quickly summarize my content. The PPT where I'm having 150 slides, please summarize it into few points. Like let's say I have to uh, summarize the content and I have let's say 100 point to be discussed. OK, so this Copilot can quickly summarize my content and the same the points I can discuss during that exam prep session. This is the personal experience I have shared how I use this summarization part of the Copilot. Now let me give you another example how we can summarize or where to summarize. For example, you have uh, prepared a, a document, OK, like you have a project. Uh, um, uh, there is a product launch, OK, you are uh, the uh, the main responsible person who is arranging this product launch event. Now before that. Event there is a meeting to be conducted to the other participants who are going to take part in the event. You have to explain them the role of uh, how they are. What is their role in that event? What is this event is all about? So in that case, you have to summarize the content which is already available with you about that event and about that product. So in place of or let's say you are not available. There is someone else. Who is going to explain about the same? Or there is a PPT you have to make. So how you can quickly summarize the content and then create a quick PPT out of that. And then you can explain in front of your colleague. Or let's say already a meeting is done. OK, now there is another meeting schedule. You were not present in that meeting. But out of that ch chat summary, you want to have the summary of the content which is discussed, the topics which was discussed, meeting points. So you can have the summary of the same and you can now discuss in the next meeting. So this is how you can summarize with Copilot. Second part we will focus where we are going to create content. We are going to draft a new email. We are going to create PPT from the Copilot. The third part we are going to focus editing and transformation. The content is already created, but you need few changes. For example, in your Excel sheet, you want to add a new column, right? You have to do some calculation. You have to edit something. You have to uh, uh, highlight something. OK. And the last part is about asking the question and analyze the content. <clears throat> For example. I have to ask question about my Excel data. That what is the product I have got the highest revenue or highest profit I have got. 
who was a event manager where there was the most crowd was collected so these are the questions you can ask about the content okay so let's start with the first part summarize and simplify information with microsoft 365 in this part we are going to identify the key element in an effective prompt by applying them in your own prompt prompt copilot to summarize or extract key information in word document excel and powerpoint summarize chart and meeting as uh, task copilot in outlook summarizing your email and compile information from a multiple document and generate the combined summary with copilot so here in this part in this module we are going to focus the summarization so for example if you have m365 account okay these are some sample files I will be using during this session for summarizing the content with the copilot. Uh, by the end of the session, I will give you the link from where you can download all these samples files to try out the copilot prompts. OK, and can be used. Now before starting with the prompt with copilot in uh, Word, Excel or PowerPoint, you have to be very specific with the prompt you are going to use. First. The four main areas of the prompt goal, context, source, and your expectation. To start with Copilot in the Word, you can open the Copilot pane the way I have opened. Make sure your goal is clear. Summarize with uh, the, do the document. Context means like write a brief overview of the main point to discuss during my tomorrow's meeting. Source the competitive, the section on competitive analysis. And please keep the summary to five key points and use simple language. So this would be the final prompt. That can be used in your Word document. Now let me open Word document. And. Uh, Okay, I have few resources file uh, arranged in my OneDrive. So under this summarized folder already, I have some file I'm going to use. Let's say. Um, yeah, this is the file I'm going to use first. Make sure when you are going to use the sample file. Create a copy first because your original file will be changed. Now, this file is open. Make sure it is open in an auto save mode so that you can start using Copilot over there. Here you have this Copilot icon. Click on it. Here you will notice this document is for seven uh, pages. Now, when you will open, here at the starting, you have few suggestions, the questions that uh, you can ask with the Copilot. For example, summarize this document. So what is your goal? Your goal is to summarize this document. Now, if you will notice, I am getting this suggestion. Make the summary more casual or make the summary more formal. This is what your expectation. Okay or how you are expecting this content should be generated. Now, if you want to mention any particular area to be summarized, for example, summarize the section on uh, let me check a section here 
let's say this is about the promotion and uh, promotion uh, plan and strategy summarize the section on okay for example you you know about this document as i am looking for the content but you may be uh, having good idea about all the topics mentioned in this document so you can go and clearly ask about that content so promotional plan and strategy so i have mentioned my uh, goal and i have mentioned my source so let's check from your document the promotional plan and the strategy it has given me these uh, key points right now you have mentioned your goal you have mentioned your source but what about the uh, context so that it can give you the summary right like you can write summarize the section with brief overview it's up to you that how you are trying to how you are going to frame your sentence okay so it has given me generated me some content now you can make it more specific give your expectation like my expectation was not these headings and all right maybe you are looking only five points 10 points that's it so i can make it more specific please keep the summary to five key points <laughs> here it is so i have now clearly mentioned my goal is there my goal is what my goal is to summarize the section so i need to summarize that is clear my context was <clears throat> context was the particular area of this document that was promotional plan and strategy only i want then i want to have the brief overview about the content i have given then to make it your more specific like i have given my expectation that please don't give in my sentences and all please give me only five key points to discuss that's it and it has given me and generated that five key points for me same way you can ask and try other points with the same like please um Keep the please summarize the section distribution channel. in 10 key points
So here it is. It has summarized my content as per my expectation and given me 10 key points. If you want in a bullet points, you can mention the same. Like. Please make it in. Bullet point, sorry. Stop checking. Now it has uh, changed to the bullet points and here it was in numbers. So as you will notice that it has referred my previous command and the content and giving me the answer. You can ask few more questions as per the suggestion, like tell me more about the role of, uh, of the wholesaler. This is actually about the questions. This is uh, the questions you are asking about the content. But here we are right now focusing on the summarization part that how you can summarize your document. Same way we will be using uh, how we can summarize, uh, how we can write the prompt to summarize the content from the Excel, from the PowerPoint also. OK, but before that, um, let's take a break for 20 minutes. And uh, after the break, we'll come back and we'll try a few more prompts. OK, so guys, take a break, have a cup of coffee or tea and we'll see you after the break. By the time if you have any other prompts uh, to suggest me to summarize the content with the documents, you are welcome.
Okay, so hello everyone. I'm back. I hope you all are there with me. Can you all please show me thumbs up if you all are there or raise your hand? <clears throat> okay, thank you all for the response. You can put your hands down. Thank you. Okay, so before the break, we have started with Microsoft 365 Copilot capability. Okay, and how we can use Copilot with uh, different application M365 application. And we have, uh, I have given you the demo that how you can start writing if a tick prompt in Microsoft Word. If you have to summarize your data. So currently we are focusing on the summarization part. Now let's continue with Microsoft 365 uh, in PowerPoint. It how we can summarize the content in PowerPoint. So this copilot can help us to move past that initial uh, your blank slides and can get you moving in the right direction. You can start using copilot in PowerPoint. You can open copilot pane in the selecting the copilot icon. OK, and then you can write your prompt over there. So again here, make sure what is your goal for the prompt that you are putting over there. Uh, uh, the context, like if you are looking for any particular uh, slides, any particular section, what is your source? What is your expectation? So now here I'm going to use uh, a PowerPoint slide. So here I am uh, using this PPT. Here at the top. At the extreme right side, open copilot. So now here first mention your goal. And your goal is to summarize this presentation. So here at the top, you can click on summarize this presentation. Press enter. I have got the summary and when you will note if you notice here with every mention point, can you see this one, two, three is written, right? So this shows the reference. Means from this PPT, this content is taken from that particular section. If you will click on it, it will directly take you to that particular slide. If I click on two, so this will help you out in term of uh, verification. Like you have asked Copilot to summarize this content or summarize this presentation. Now the ideas it has given to you, the summarization, the points it has given to you, you need to cross check. You need to verify this is what really the content available in the slide. Is it the correct uh, uh, point I'm, uh, uh, I have got from the PPT uh, from the Copilot? So you can just go and click on that reference point and just cross check. If you feel like that any important point or any important slide is missed, you can mention that particular slide heading and ask Copilot to give you another summary. Okay, so now here you have this refresh button. You can refresh. Now let me again go back and here. Now as you want to make it more specific, mentioning the context. For example, I will write that. Uh, please. Uh, summarize. Please summarize. For my boss. Um, this PPT. For my boss, that include an overview 
of main points. before meeting with clients. So you have mentioned your context that why you want to have this uh, 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 key points, OK? If you want, you can be more specific. You can mention the source. Now here it has added a new slide. Uh, this is actually not expected from the co-pilot because nowhere I have mentioned to add the PPT to here. I have mentioned please summarize this PPT for my pros. Uh, OK, here you go. A summary of presentation that uh, with main point has been created for your boss. If you would like, designer also has other layout option to consider. So this is actually the uh, separate slide is created. But I was not looking into this uh, slide to be created, so you can mention. I don't. Want. New slide. To be. Created. Only. wants key points okay so now it has given me the summary now Product description, market opportunity, distribution channel, promotional strategy, and expected outcome. You can refer the particular slide if you want to mention. Like here, uh, I can mention this is what the slide which is added. You can remove that. Now you can um, please summarize this PPT. For my boss, that include an overview of main point. Here you can mention the source from slide. Let's see. Um, I wanted to start from slide number four or uh, slide number four. To slide number 10, slide number 4 to 10, 4 to 10. I can write it here. This PPT slides 4 to 10 for my boss. That's good. This more uh, better prompt. Okay. So I have got the result. If you will notice, it has given me summary form. Let me cross check. Yeah, so this is from slide number eight. And this is from slide number 10. And um, next is from slide number 12. No, this is what uh, not the result I was expecting. Because I was only looking for the for the content from the slide number four to 10. So I can rephrase it. Please uh, summarize slides four to ten uh, 
in this PPT. Let's cross check whether it is giving me result only from 4 to 10 or not. No, it has given me promotional plan and a strategy also. Again, it is not giving me the correct expected outcome. Let me try again. Summarize slides in this PPT. OK, no, it's not giving me the expected result. Because under references, I can see these are the references taken from uh, different slides. So here I have uh, option to give the feedback. If you want to give thumbs up, like if you like the uh, result, you can give thumbs up. Thumbs down if you dislike. So like I do not like this uh, uh, result because I was expecting only from the mentioned slide. Mentioned slide so I can see that. Um, I wanted the sum, uh, the summary from slides four to ten, but getting the points from other flights too. And click on submit. If you wanted to include any attachment there, you had option to include that. Oh, OK, so I have given my feedback. So the same way as I have suggested you when you are giving any prompt on getting any answer, always cross check. Are you getting the expected one or not? OK, if not, you are always welcome to give your feedback. Give your thumbs up if the content is expected is 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 like is good. And as per the expectation, if not, give your feedback. Let me try another point, uh, another prompt. That is. Summarize. Slides. 4 to 10. That's it. I'm just giving uh, uh, this much content. No, something is wrong because it is again giving me uh, and mentioning slide number 40. OK. So we'll cross check with other uh, PPTs also. 
here i can try in this current ppt let's try I can write summarize slides three to seventeen. from this ppt I have mentioned slide uh, three to seventeen. Okay. Okay, so it has given me the summary, but some content it has got uh, from the other slides. So it has summarized that also. But yes, uh, this time even I have got the better result from the last time. But this is again uh, not expected because I was only hoping from that uh, slide I have mentioned. Okay, so now let's uh, move on to the next topic where we are uh, using and trying the prompt with the Excel sheet. So let's open a Excel sheet. OK, so now here. At the top. You have Copilot. Select. Here you can uh, directly use this suggestion. Click on summarize using pivot tables or chart. Here it is giving me a uh, summary. See, I analyzed data in A1 to F14 and here what I found and it has given you the summary of this data. Date is starting from this. OK, to the last one. All the common dates are uh, uh, that. Uh, combined. And here you have got the total value. Now if you want to add it to a new sheet, you can do that. You can click on add to new sheet. And here you will notice the summary is added here. Right, so here. You haven't got the total of uh, each and every value, but here even you are getting the value, the total value. Sum of total choice sale. This is the total grand total you are getting automatically from the copilot. Just click on it, click to the value, and here you can analyze into the uh, that uh, pivot table. 
if any of the column you want to remove you can do that okay and analyze us the, the one that you are expecting here go back to the previous sheet now let's say you have to summarize total sales for you can mention the product so i can write pre made chai so here it is it has given me sum of pre made chai summarize total sale for the pre made chai now it has given me this value if you wanted to add it to a new one but just uh, before that i want to cross check is it giving me the correct total or not so you can have the count here at the bottom sum is 3965 this is what the correct result correct summary it has given to us anyone else who want to suggest any prompt to summarize the data if you want to mention any particular date any month you can also mention month wise summary okay let's try summarize month wise now here you have got the summary total sale and here for the january for the ma february march april and so on you have got the summary you can copy it and paste to another document or even if you want to uh, add to a new sheet you can click on add to new sheet and here you have the summary as per month okay so you can you have mentioned uh, the particular uh, project okay and if you want to mention any particular column you can summarize it okay teachers i hope you got it if you want to uh, let's see i will go back let's say i want to highlight any content so please uh, highlight highlight the top c online searches for chai okay so it is saying that sure looking for the data the stable and there is one call condition formatting rule to review to apply top 3 item and it is giving you the formatting fill color yellow font color black and you can click on apply let's see 
Yeah. So here it has given me a uh, top three online searches for chai and it has highlighted my data. Right, so this is how we can get the summary of our data. The way I have uh, mentioned it to highlight it. You can mention your source. You can mention your context. What you are looking for. Are you highlighting it? Are you analyzing any content? Are you getting the summary of any content and so on? OK, so this was for analyzing the content. Oh, sorry, this was for the summarizing the content. Now let's say if you have to uh, summarize any chat, OK? For that, I would like to take you to my Teams. This is the ongoing meeting. So this is the ongoing meeting chat, so you can use this feature like let's say you have a, a meeting going on and because of some reason you are not able to attend that and you are late for that meeting. So you can quickly take the summary from the co-pilot so that you will be updated uh, in the meeting for the next hour uh, remaining hours for the meeting. OK, like let's say currently I'm taking this session. So mentally there is another meeting going on in my organization. But I'm not able to attend that because this session is uh, again. I'm I'm here in this session, so I can uh, go and join that meeting after two o'clock when the session will over. So what is this discussion already going on? Uh, what is the discussion has been done? If um, uh, somewhere my name was mentioned or uh, if the transcript option is enabled from the organization side. OK, so even that is very good. So even when the meeting is over or uh, you can uh, if any uh, when is, when someone is speaking, even that uh, data can be captured and can be used by copilot for the summarization of your content. OK, so like here in my organization, this summarization, uh, this uh, sorry, this transcript option is not enabled. OK, so because of that, only the content which is written into the chat, I can use the summary or the copilot for the same. But if in your organization, uh, if uh, the transcription is uh, open during the session, so whatever the transcription is provided to you, you can ask Copilot to get the help. Like uh, if someone is speaking something, you can even take the summary of the session. OK, so there was a prompt suggested by. Sachink. I hope I'm pronouncing you right, Sachink. So he is asking, can we summarize in pie chart? OK, let's try. So you can add it to the new sheet. 
and here you go. So you have this uh, pie chart created, okay? And this is the month wise data you are getting. Okay, I hope this is what you are uh, looking for. How to get certified this webinar? Okay, uh, so Krishna, uh, currently, uh, like we are not providing you any certification to attend the same, to attend this webinar. And currently, even uh, from the Microsoft, there is no certification available for clearing the examination. But yes, there is an applied skill available for this course that you are attending. So in detail, I will explain you about the course. But yes, we are providing you the course achievement batch. I guess uh, already um, it is shared in the chart. Yeah, here. Uh, if you will notice, Archie has shared a link that is a course achievement batch. So this course achievement batch is given to you. This proves that you have attended this training and you have uh, not a particular training, I should say. But yes, this means that you have completed this course. OK, so as you are uh, completing this course with us, you have uh, attended this session. So for uh, you guys, we are providing you this course achievement batch. You can redeem this batch by using your Microsoft uh, certification profile. Once you redeem it, it will be added to your certification profile and you can show it to your colleague. You can share your success over your uh, uh, social media. You can share your batch within your organization and you can show that yes, you have uh, completed this course. Uh, Krishna, this link is already shared in the chat. By Archie. This is what the link is shared. OK, you can use this to redeem the batch. Here the steps are written. You can follow the steps. OK, so yes, I was uh, using Microsoft team uh, and here I was showing you how you can summarize the content. And here I have got the summary. With the ongoing chat. If you want to uh, ask for a summary from a particular user, like let's say. Please summarize this chat. Please summarize the chat from Archie Jan. OK, so I have mentioned a, a, a user, a colleague. So what conversation is done by that particular colleague even I can summarize the same. OK, so now let me take you to my. Uh, So I'm going to open office.com and there I can show you that how we can summarize the data from the OneDrive. OK, so. You need to open office.com. And make sure you are logging to your organization account with the Copilot license. So I'm going to open the Copilot. So now here you can start getting the summary. So you can see summarize team message where I have at the rate mentioned this week. Or please summarize. Um, summarize the content. Summarize the chat. Done with Sunita. Sunita is my colleague. So I have got the summary. The last discussion I have done with Sunita and got the summary of the same. So if you will notice now it has taken me to uh, this world and even I have an option here to work, uh, work and web. I can switch my toggle there. 
So even here, I have my I have an option to add the people and file itself here. So I can um, summarize summarize the content from. And here you can add the file. So I can add the file like let's say. This one. And here click on. Enter. See, so you do not need to go to that particular file and get the summary, but here itself. Uh, in your office.com. So whatever the file are there available in your uh, uh, Office 365 environment in your OneDrive, SharePoint, any time any file share in your Teams chat uh, via any colleague, any chat discussion done. So any summary you can just come up here on a single place and you can ask with Copilot to do the same for you. Here you have some more suggestion like uh, can you summarize a promotional plan and strategy? Click on it and ask for the same. So this is about the continuation. So it is referring the same file which it is which is used here. This is the continuation of the com the conversation going on with the chat uh, with the copilot. OK, so I hope uh, now it is clear for you all how this uh, copilot can be used to summarize your data. Now let's uh, move on to the next part where we will discuss that how we can. Um, give me a minute. Let me get back to my PPT. OK, so now let's start how we can create any content or how we can draft with Microsoft Copilot for M365. So now here in this part, we will discuss about creating the content, like if you want to create the content from the scratch. So how you can do that? So here in this part, I'm going to use some sample files here so that I can show you how to write the effective prompt if you want to create any content. So again, when you are uh, creating the content, make sure you are very pretty clear about your goal, context, source and the expectation. So you can uh, draft the cover letter, you can create the plan, you can make that uh, uh, TOCs for your client, any strategies if you have to make any outline of the content, you can do the same. Now we can directly continue with the examples. Here. I'm going back and. Uh, for this, actually, I just wanted to open a new file. OK. First, let's see. I have uh, to work with this file. This is the Contoso product specification document. OK, so now this is a product specific uh, specification document where all the detail about the product is mentioned over there. OK, now. For example, you are a marketing people. Now you have to make a. a, a, a a marketing proposal. OK, for this particular product. So how we can do that with the help of Copilot. Now. Here you can ask Copilot. You can write the.
that uh, draft a marketing proposal for Pontosu's latest project. Mention the name of the product. We can generate. And here you can give the reference of the file. file name was I think um yeah this was the file I can select and we'll click on generate So now here you have got this content, your marketing proposal ready for the product you have mentioned. You have provided the source also, your expectation also. OK, now if you want to make it more specific, like if you want to uh, mention it into the bullet points in a 10 key points, you can do that. So if the content which is generated, you can just go through. If you are not satisfied, you can ask Copilot to regenerate. So to regenerate here, you have this icon. Click on regenerate. It is regenerating the content. So if you will notice now I have two options. The first option is this. Generate it first time. And this is the second option. Here you can, if you're still not satisfied, you can uh, uh, ask Copilot to regenerate it again. Like for example, make it more professional. Now you have three options. OK, now this is more professional. You can make it more specific. Like let's say. Make it. Specific. To. Product. Specification. And requirements. Here you are. It is generating uh, another uh, suggestion for you, another proposal for you. So, as I said, don't just stop. Keep on asking the question by the time you are not satisfied. Try drafting different prompts. Now at the end, I have four uh, suggestions, four proposal. And here you just go through all the content and which one you feel like is OK. And feel the best one. 
like the last one i feel that i have the product specification available the technical specification implementation plan so my proper plan is ready this one is what i want to keep it so i can click on keep it so this is the final draft is created by the copilot if you want to still to make any changes any addition you want to do no problem scroll down and here at the bottom you have again copilot icon available you can click on it and you can ask copilot to add few more content right or add few more lines any key point any summary that you can do that okay and now here again you can uh, use copilot and you can chat with copilot ask some questions i have some key point okay so for example this content you have created this stuff is created but you need some key point to discuss even during the meeting so okay you can use here some key points also and quickly even create a ppt also okay any other forms guys anyone who wants to suggest nothing okay so for example let's say i am a trainer okay now let me um, open a new document now as as a trainer like i i am asked to create the content for the training what i am going to cover so now it happens uh, that i ask many time with a copilot that how we, i can create the content yes archie do you want to ask something discuss anything no ma'am okay okay so here i will ask copilot please help me to create doc for my training session on on copilot for Microsoft 365. And here, even you can make it more specific. I am a trainer. Please help me to create TOC for my training session on Copilot for Microsoft 365. Click on generate. So now here I have my TOC ready within few seconds. I can share with my with my client. Now here, if you want to add any particular topic that is not covered here, or like um, if you want to mention any particular topic, like let's say today we are covering the topic craft effective prompt. So you can ask Copilot to include that topic to any QA session, advanced functionality, right? Core features. So this is how you can create the content so this i have used a uh, word right now i can click on delete and even uh, close it and delete now let's open a ppt i'm going to close this one also I can open a new PPT in a browser. Now here, uh, for example, now I'm going to create a new PPT from scratch. Now you can create a PPT like mentioning a topic like let's say I can. Uh, open a blank presentation. I can ask copilot. Create a presentation about. M365 copilot. How?
effective prompt with copilot. Click on generate slide. Okay, so here I got it. Uh, these are the suggestion you can uh, start with. I can click on present. Uh, this is the slide store you can use and these are the side which is added. So here total I have 27 slide in my PPT. If you want to keep it, just click on keep it. If you want to add any particular slide in between, you can ask Copilot to add it. Like let's say this is the outline slide. Uh, if you want to add any uh, agenda slide or to about the uh, about the Copilot introduction, understanding prompt, what is prompt? This is the characteristics of effective prompt technique of writing effective prompt. So I feel like it is OK. Now. You can click on keep it. And now your PPT is ready. You can open in a normal mode. And once again, you can review it. Here you can now use uh, Let me save it first. Where is my co-pilot icon? Where is that co-pilot icon? Okay, I, I, I got it here. So now here I can ask Copilot. And here I have got my. Chat. And let's say I want to add a slide. At. A slide for. Copilot. Use cases. So you can click on, uh, let's say here, and enter. So 
So currently there are 27 slides we will notice. Now I have a slide added for pilot use cases. So the uh, slide I have selected just immediately after that a new slide is added. If you want to mention the location like uh, after so much after this slide or at the slide at this number or at the slide uh, on this topic at the end, you can also mention the same. OK, if you want to remove any slide like let's say. Remove. Slide number 11. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I can answer. OK, why it is, should remove that. OK, but it should help me to edit. OK, no problem. I will check it out. So this is what I have created a slide from a scratch. But let's say uh, you already have a document created. OK, now let's say you have to create a presentation also. OK, like let's say you have a do document created that is your marketing trend report. Now after that you want to create a PPT. So now let's see how we can create a PPT. On the basis of any reference file. For that, I will go to OneDrive. My files. OK, so here I have a file. This is marketing trend report. So I have this document created. Now I want to create a PPT with the help of this document. So when you want to take a reference of any file, OK, so make sure that uh, file is at least open once. So that it will be visible into the file as a reference file or as a recently open file. So now like let like this file I have open. Now I will go back to my presentation. Here. You can select the options. Click on create a presentation. So this is already used. Now I'm going to select the next one. Create a presentation from file. And here. You can start typing. Slash and mention your file. OK, it is not giving me any suggestion. So you can mention the name of the file. The file is marketing trend. Hope it should give me the suggestion. No, self's not giving me suggestion. OK, let me do that. Let me copy the link of the file. And let's try the same. So 
so I have copied the link from the file and I have mentioned the direct link from that for that file if that file is not available into the suggested file. OK, so here you go. So my PPT is created. With the reference of the file that I have just opened. That was the market trend report. OK, so this was a market trend report about the project and I have the slide created. This is the total 15 slide I got. OK. So now you will notice that every time when you are asking Copilot to create a PPT for you, it is using its own format and template, right? If you have uh, your own template available and you, if you wish to continue with the same and you want the Copilot to use the same uh, theme or the uh, template, right? So you can do that. For example, this is what the current file is. Uh, it has created and the theme it has given. Let's say delete that. And here. Now let's say I want to create a new PPT. Create. A presentation from a file and now here you have some suggestions, so I will now use this one. And enter. Creating a new presentation will replace the existing slide. Yes, please. OK, I, I should mention. Let me stop generating. I should mention using the same theme or template. Using the. Same theme. Or using. My theme. OK, so it is creating the content for me and here you will notice it has used the format, the, con the theme uh, of the PPT that you have provided. OK, so if you want to add a few more slides so you can ask Copilot, please. Elaborate. Elaborate the. the presentation and uh, add few more slides. Please elaborate the presentation. OK, no, it is not. Let's try another prompt. Please. Add. Five more. Slides. So now it has added a few more slides. Now earlier there was seven. Now there are total 12 slides available and few more slides are added. But here I forgot to mention the location where it should add. So by default where my cursor was or the selected slide, it has immediately added the slide after the same. 
so you need to mention properly where you want the slide should be added so you need to mention the location please add five more uh, slide at the end or please add a uh, introduction slide okay please add agenda slide please add thank you slide like here i can mention please add slide at the end so there is no thank you slide is added now let's see if it is adding okay i was not able to generate those slide for you there's something i can do okay it has not added please add conclusion slide at the end of slides let's see if this prompt is working conclusion slide has been add, has been added at the end but i cannot see any conclusion slide here okay it has added but it has added uh, just below the first slide my last selected slide so it has not added my slide at the end of right so but yes the conclusion slide is added Uh, I asked, or I can write. I asked to add the conclusion slide at the end, not at slide two. Let's see how it is responding to us. No, it, it says that it cannot do so. I can just say thumbs down. Not added as per required location. Submit. If you want to ask anything from the co-pilot, you can do that. OK. You can summarize the way we have already tried that. So this was all about the PPT. Now let's move on and see how we can uh, draft a new email. OK, with the help of or any reply with the help of co-pilot. OK, for example, uh, OK, so let me open my email. This is my Outlook. OK, for example, this is what the email is shared with my uh, by my colleague and I have not replied it yet. Let's say I have to draft a reply so I can draft a reply. Here. Click on it. Draft with Copilot. Please. draft a reply to this email so this is the draft i have received from the co-pilot that is generated thank you for providing the guidelines for the exam prep session i will take the overview so this is what it has gone through with the content co-pilot and then it has created the prompt for me so i can just review the same i will read it out if i found it okay i can uh, accept it i can keep it if i want to regenerate like make it more formal generate
another uh, uh, draft i got so you can compare both the uh, replies and whatever you want you can just uh, keep it and your replies are ready and you can send it to your colleague i'm removing it now let's say uh, there is any other email you have received and you do not have time to just quickly see all the emails, but you have to just see so that you can discuss in the meeting that this is what the communication done on the email. So you can hear at the top you have a summary by Copilot. So now whatever the mail trail is done, Copilot will quickly give you the summary that what is done, the communication is done. That she has requested you to inform about the participants, provide you the enrollment status, and so and so. So all the summary you have within few seconds. So even here you have an option to uh, thumbs up and thumbs down to give your feedback. OK. Now here. If you want to create a new email. Draft a new email. Here you can ask Copilot. Draft with Copilot. Please help me. Write an email to apply for travel leave for my client visit on 30th. September. I have got this email. Uh, I'm writing to request approval for travel to visit a client on a 30th September. This client visit is essential for building and maintaining our relationship with them. I have made all the necessary arrangement and I have ensured that all the safety protocols related to the travel will be followed. So just read the content if you want to add anything or you can add that like the training location, the client name or any other detail you can mention and Copilot will just uh, figure it out everything and this recreate it for you. Accept it if you want to regenerate, you can do that. Here under options, you have option to mention the length. Is it uh, do you want to make it shorter, longer? The tone you can select like make it in a direct way, formal or casual. You can discard. Now let me quickly show you how we can use a uh, copilot with MS Excel. OK, so here I'm going to use this file. And here I'm using Copilot. This is the Fabricon uh, campaign file. OK, you can ask Copilot uh, to suggest some formatting option to suggest some formulas options, right? So like here. You can mention Copilot to show the suggestion for a formula column. So here it is showing us the engagement rate. This is what the column you can add. If you want to insert it, just click on insert. And now the engagement rate is added. You can also mention like. Uh, 
plot this table. To look. For the most. Impactful. Person. So here it is asking uh, apply a custom sort on column engagement treat in table table one. Click on apply. And here you go. So now it is sorted. As per the engagement rate. Okay. As you want that the table should be sorted as per the most impactful. Sales bus. Now here you can also like for example. Pull the. Top three revenue Click on apply. And now you will notice that here it has bold three values. That is the highest revenue generated. You can also please um, summarize. Revenue. As per campaign owner. It is a summary of revenue by the campaign owner. Here you can click add to a new sheet. And here now you can compare each and every owner and the revenue generated by that owner. And quickly you have the summary over there. For example, here you can um, like add a column, add a column that That calculates the net net revenue per engaged user. Here you can make it more clear like taking into account here. Budget cost. Okay, so now here it is giving me per uh, net revenue per engaged user, and here you can click on insert column. And here you got net revenue per engaged user is added. You can also mention like sort this table in descending order by the net. 
revenue per engaged users. Lie, and here you go. It is giving you the descending order. You can also mention, like for example, um, I want to highlight the campaign owners. Highlight. Highlight campaigns. Or I should highlight. Top and. Bottom. Campaign owners. Apply. I should make it more specific. By the net revenue per user. Per engage user. Shoot. And we'll rephrase it. Yeah, now I got the uh, correct one. So I hope now it should give me. Oh, oh no. Apply the following cells. No, I wanted to have a highlight the top and bottom campaign owners by the net revenue per generated. No, it is not giving me the correct result. Let me rephrase it. Let me try by the revenue. Let's try this one. No, it is totally giving me the uh, wrong uh, answer. Total user targeted and net revenue per engaged user. Okay. Highlighted the content. As per requirement, uh, 
okay so that's it now let's try uh... sorting is done again we have added the content For example, if you have to ask any question from the uh, with the help of Copilot, you can do that. Like uh, what is the highest? Revenue received by Smith. So I got this answer from the co pilot. Let me just cross check about the user. So Smith, he has. Uh, provided the revenue that is 5632. So if you want to ask any specific question about your data, you can do that. Like currently in my sheet, I have only 15 or 13 uh, rows hardly. But in an actual scenario, you may have multiple record, more than thousands rows, you may be working multiple columns. So this is how you can quickly ask Copilot to give you the answer. OK, and Copilot is going to help you for the same. OK, so that's it, guys. Uh, uh, I tried my level best to give you the understanding about the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So today we have discussed what is this Copilot behind the scene? What is the uh, capability of Copilot? The technology used behind the Copilot, how to use the AI model, the LLM model, right? For uh, giving you the result, understanding your prompt, looking towards your human readable languages and giving you the answer in the same. So that it should be understood for you. So we have discussed how we can even I have given you the demo how we can start using Copilot with different applications like we have used Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Teams, right? Uh, from the uh, your browser, from your OneDrive files, how we can summarize the data, how we can create the content, how we can uh, analyze the content, how we can edit the content, right? So I have given you the demo on each and every application. I have shown you how we can summarize a PPT, your document, your Excel sheet, any content that you are uh, putting as attachment, right? As a reference how to draft the email, how to draft the reply, get the summary of the email. So that's all we have discussed today. So anyone, any other questions so far? Any doubt you can put into the chat box. Yes, anyone? OK, I guess no question. Thank you so much everyone for joining the session. This was really great interacting with you. How to enable Copilot in Excel? See, you do not have to enable the Copilot in Excel. Uh, if you have Copilot license assigned to you, you can use Copilot uh, like the way I'm using. So under Excel here at the top, you have this Copilot. Click on it and you can start uh, asking the question, giving your prompt over there. OK, so do not need to specifically enable it.
Uh, see, this co-pilot can be used with your M365 account. For that, you must be having your organization account with you. you my, your user must be added to your Entra. You do not need to use uh, autopilot. You do not need to use chat GPT and all. For using co-pilot, you just need co-pilot add-on license. That's it. Once this license is assigned to you, you will notice when you will open Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you can see the co-pilot icon is available for you. Okay, so that's what I have shown you, uh, Mohammed. If you have noticed, when I was uh, getting the summary of the document.